Hello and welcome to Angry Andy Reviews. Let's have a look at the newly announced HasLab Giant Man from the Marvel Legends series. Angry Andy, Angry Andy Reviews. Angry Andy. Okay, so here we are, another day, another <laughs> HasLab announcement from uh, Hasbro, this time for the Marvel Legends series, um, and it's Giant Man. Now, um, we're on the front page of Hasbro Post website, website here, and obviously there is some digital imagery here. It's a bit, I don't know, that, <laughs> it's a bit blocky. Uh, that picture, I don't know if you, whether it, it'll look any clearer on here, but it's it's quite, I don't know, uh, pixelated. Obviously it says there, digitally rendered product may vary in final production, pending license or approval. So obviously Marvel are all over this. Um, they will want it absolutely perfectly. But immediately you get a sense from this sort of picture um, exactly what you're going to be getting, I think. Um, it's going to be massive so let's go let's click on it let's just see how it's doing so it got uploaded i think two days ago at the time of recording this so there we go some lovely um artwork there um see so there you get a real sense of how big this this figure is going to be compared to um the rest of the six inch figures so obviously it is going to be in scale um and there we are so 43 days left 16 hours and 26 minutes um it's already got nearly 4,000 backers, so it's on 3,898 backers for a target of 10,000. That's quite a low target, that. So for a target of 10,000, it's 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 a, you know just a, just over a third of the way there. 3,898 backers in what less than two days. My word. Um, I said the other day, I said the Marvel Legends series is pretty much on point with every single uh, figure release. Um, obviously, figures in comics change costumes and whatever, so there are a lot of, uh, well, I'm hesitant to say reissues, um, but with different styles of uniforms, costumes and whatever, but then you know, the head sculpts are always different as well. So, yeah, um, I know this is going to be another successful um, uh crowdfunding campaign i think from the haslab for marvel um but you're just looking at those pictures uh big cheesy grin <laughs> it does look really good uh i am i'm gonna say that it does look really good it looks really interesting really fun um let's click through the pictures let's have a, a deep look so there is articulation there in the fingers quite clearly probably can't you know get a good sense of it there um from this particular picture um there's a different face sculpt there as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of movement in this figure, which is exactly what you want. There was a lot of movement in the um, in the Sentinel. There was a lot of movement in the Galactus as well. Uh, my good friend, Mr. Spider Dan of Spider Dan Secret Boss Podcast, got the Sentinel, and I did a did a, a deep review of him um, over um, over Zoom because of COVID and everything. But he he unboxed that that monstrosity of a figure and it was well worth it absolutely well worth it i should have got one myself um but there you go here it is so here is the figure itself giant man 60 centimeters tall uh 24 inches that's that's a that's a big action figure that and there you go you've got captain america there for scale as well um classic captain america so this this is clearly taken from a very classic um giant man look um and again next picture there you can see the amount of articulation in the fingers um so you can get m many many different kinds of poses there really clever i mean that looks just great i think the level of dexterity in in this in this in this in this massive figure um the detailing i mean obviously these are digitally rendered you know they're not the final things but you get a sense of the detailing that you're going to get in this figure um really really good let's keep going we'll go for a bit quicker with these other pictures 
all the detail I think looks really good um that I mean obviously again it is a digital only picture but that looks really great if it comes out looking anything like that that is a very very delicately intricately detailed face sculpt costume sculpt you name it um and there you go so there's three different faces ultra serious angry and that big old cheesy grin <laughs> uh very good that's uh yeah so we're pretty much back to the beginning there i think after these ones so yeah there he is giant man in all the glory so um like i said 24 inches tall uh design inspired by the character's appearance in marvel comic books um features 91 total points of articulation including 29 points in each hand that is astonishing that's an astonishing amount of articulation for a figure any pose you could probably want to try and um, do you know <laughs> you'd probably be able to do it with this um the giant man figure has intricate design and premium deco like i said it does look very very detailed um which is what you'd expect from a bigger figure with you know more in your face detailing ultra articulated figure is fully posable for the ultimate shelf display absolutely you can imagine all sorts of different displays you're gonna you know you're gonna want to try and create with this and like it says there it comes with two alternate face plates to display with different facial expressions so the price 199.99 that's that's not a bad price really um not a bad price at all the dog's back in the background i don't think he appreciates it um but yeah uh you know if you are a massive collector of these kind of things then you know that is a it's a fair dinkum decent price i think um so the campaign when does the campaign end 24th of october i think it says there 24th of october so yeah you have to get this in for the 24th of october i think it will easily meet this target i think given that it's already at nearly four thousand um i think it will it will hit this um let's continue let's have a look through i'm not going to watch the video but there you go so you can see the 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 art style they're going for the very classic avengers look so if you if you've collected the six it was all for the 60th anniversary didn't know that that's interesting so if you've collected some of these figures already and um, classic iron man classic captain america thor black widow hawkeye and the classic hulk you know you're gonna you're gonna want this aren't you <laughs> you're gonna want this look at all these, these pictures are great straight out of the comic books baron zemo there one of my favorite characters i mean just look at this <laughs> yeah these pictures are great that one <laughs> that is a really good picture that is a fantastic display to try and create I do like that. I think this looks really good. I think this looks really, really good. Add to your classic Avengers collection. Yeah, so um, retro-inspired 1963 costume. There you go. Um, that's what it is. Uh, oh, interesting. Fights of this magnitude can cause rifts. Giant Man base offering needs 10,000 backers. Um, orders beyond that will help unlock tiers that enhance your Giant Man figure and display. Okay, so... 12,000 backers unlocks Giant Man Enhancement number one, apparently. A ghoulish display mode. So, Marvel Zombies faceplate. Interesting. Interesting. That's very interesting. So, if you're a massive fan of Marvel Zombies, the articulation, you can create a pose for it if you've got Marvel Zombies uh, uh, action figures. And you can go crazy on that. And then 14,000 backers to unlock Giant Man has number two, an otherworldly look. So that is Secret Invasion scroll head. Um, obviously, Secret Invasion didn't really do <laughs> good business on Disney Plus. However, it is a celebrated comic book, one of the one of the all time celebrated um, comic books um, in Marvel history. So yeah, you're gonna want the scroll version of uh, giant man and they both look really good obviously they gain digital renderings but they do look really good i think people want if you're a massive marvel legend series uh collector and you've got zombies you've got scrolls you're gonna want you're gonna want this i think you will want this and i think it's got every potential to reach fourteen thousand. 
Um, I mean, the, the ghosts slow down a bit, but eventually hit over 20,000. Um, that was for the Star Wars Vintage Collection. There you go, it was a, a bigger, bigger, bigger showing. Um, there's the classic comic book that it's in reference to. Um, obviously, it's updated slightly, you know, a bit of extra detailing in the costume. And the face swap out, that's what's interesting, that's interesting. So the face itself swaps out, so it's not different health sculpts. It's literally face sculpts, so they'll probably just pop out, um, and then you can pop them in. But yeah, most poseable large-scale figure. Um, I wonder, yeah, I wonder if that is the most poseable, um, the most articulated. I, don't, I can't remember how much the Sentinel had or how much Galactus had. I do like that picture. That's really great. That's really great. If there's a collector out there, that is exactly what I'd be looking to do. Um, you know, any collectors out there, I think that's a, a really good, really good, um, <laughs> a really good uh, uh, picture to try and recreate for yourselves. So there you go. There it is. Haslab, uh, Marvel Legends Haslab, Giant Man. Um, from the Marvel Legends series, classic uh, Giant Man. Um, let me know your thoughts. What are you thinking about this figure? Have you backed it already? Are you one of these 4,000, near 4,000 backers for this? Um, I think it looks really fun. <laughs> Again, I don't collect Marvel Legends, um, but I think it does look really good. But again, the interesting thing for me is I was lamenting the Black series, not being able to create anything that, you know, really tickles people's fancies. And yet, you know, this one has a fairly low target of 10,000 backers. Really enticing. Um, a solid price of 199.99. Yeah, okay, you probably... I'm guessing those tiers are all the tiers you're going to get. I don't think they'll offer anything else. Um, it would be interesting to see, you know, them offer a six-inch scale of this character. See, you know, d dead small. I don't, I can't remember the specifics. Of, does he shrink down or not, or is that just res resort uh, left for Ant Man? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but is there anything else they could offer alongside this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So for fourteen thousand backers in total, um. And realistically, it's only ten thousand shy of that. Um, you know, that's a pretty, it's a pretty good deal. Um, Forty three days left to hit. Um, let's have a look at um, what the rancor was. So this is what I'm lamenting. Um, oh, I mean, that had only a target of nine thousand and didn't hit it. Wow. Um, but it was 329.99. There is the difference. Obviously, this is a much more, I don't know, is it It was much more bigger, wasn't it? Um, 27 inches tall, 43 inches wide. <sighs> yeah. Um, 45 points of articulation. So it had less, really. It had much less. Um, yeah, 24 inches tall, mm. I wonder if Haslab are maybe learning a bit of a lesson, I don't know, but what would they be able to, if they, if they put the Rancor at this price, £200, all in, I think it would have made the business, because it was so close to making the business at that ultra high ultra high price point and then they added all the extra figures in as well maybe even 250 pounds um it would have made the business but it it, it didn't this one i think is very good sorry this video is turning into a, a black series lament but here is a good example of six scale working at the moment obviously it's not hit the initial target yet but i think it will do with such a long way to go i think it will do so yeah there you go I'll leave this video there. So let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Are you are you going to back it yourself? Um, have you already backed it? What do you think about it? Uh, would you like to see any additional tiers? Yes, no, maybe. Would you back it purely just forget the just to get these these extra faces? Let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave the uh, the the video there. Like I said, if you do like these kind of videos, please do like subscribe to the channel. Uh, for more videos like this and we will check in 
in a week's time to see how this is doing, to see how this campaign is going. So for the time being, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.